what's up my youtube friends how y'all doing i hope y'all all having a blessed day welcome or welcome back if you are new my name is momo and i love to do nails anything that's nail related i love to do so those are the type of videos you like to watch honey with and you are in the right channel i'm telling you you're in the right channel so right dude. so do me that favor and hit that subscribe button right and that bell right next to it onto all so that you get notified for when i upload those videos you like to watch okay and become my youtube friend because i will really 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 love to have you as my youtube friend okay and i will really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you do <laughs> become my youtube friends so hit that subscribe button for me so with that being said y'all let's get right into this video i got nail mail <laughs> i got nail mail this nail mail is from amazon yivo yivo i mean Ye <laughs> cut that out Yevio reached out to me to review this acrylic nail system for beginners. So, to review for you all. So, we're going to check it out. All right. So, this is from a, a brand seller from Amazon. Let's open it up. Let's see what it look like. Let's see what we're working with hell yeah and so this is all what it comes in the box it comes with your little nail little kit information everything and anything you need to know how to use this product okay one through 12 steps tips storage warning and contact information in the back it comes with a nail drill manual also how to use it and all that good stuff. Oh, what is this? 3D flowers? Okay, join our test companion. Enter your ID, upgrade the nail kit with a 3D nail flower. Okay, y'all, look at this. If you wanna use that QR code, go ahead and use it. But everything on this, the information on this kit, I'm gonna leave it linked in the description box below so y'all can go check it out. It's only, $21.99 very very affordable if you're looking for a little starter kit to you know to try out to see how it is and all that good stuff and it comes with a nice little nail drill you cannot beat that at all first i see here is a little nail form so if you like to scope out your nails you can do that with these nail forms all you gotta do is attach it onto your nails you know and scope out your nails with some nail forms next up a hand file i'm pretty sure is a 100 and 180 grit file it comes with three brushes here it don't have no sizes on it this is how the brushes are looking like okay you know like any ordinary brush with the residue stuff and all that all you gotta do is break it up clean it up and all that good stuff before you use it dip it in monomer make sure you take all that stuff out i'm definitely going to use this bigger one but anyway look this little one could be good for like a 3d you know this little dampen dish you can never go wrong with this little dampen dish you know what i like to use these dampen dish y'all to sit my um no bits in there like like this this one is dirty because uh what i had in, that acetone i had in there dried up but this is what i like to do with my bits i'll fill this up with acetone while if i'm doing myself or one of my sisters or somebody and then i will sit the drill bits in there like that either well acetone or alcohol so to you know to clean the to take the little residue off from the drill bit or if i have alcohol i'll set it in there to disinfect or if I have acetone in there, I'll sit it in there too, you know, to break up the little, you know, the a powder that's stuck on there, on the drill bits. So these little dappin' dishes come in handy. Or now I'll set it inside my desk and, I, and I'll just sit the um, drill bits right in there and I'll just grab one like that. Wow. Is a 15 gram. 0 0.5 ounce acrylics but this did not come full to the top at all so 
this is your pink this is what your pink looking like I do this is what the nude is looking like and this one is your clear and this one is a pink oh wait oh shit uh it was a, mi a mistake so i'm guessing this one is a white and this one you know obviously it's the pink but they put the pink powder in the white bottle white powder in the pink bottle <laughs> but that's okay i know which one is which so i'm hoping this one is yeah this one's gotta be white and this is clear y'all that's okay it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. It comes with you know, these little drill bits. It comes with mostly all your e-files that you buy. Here, there, and everywhere. EMA mon monomer. is a three-ounce bottle of monomer. And next up, y'all, the nail drill. I actually got one something like this that I've been bought like when I first 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 wanted started to wanted to do my own nails. I had bought one of these little um drill portable drills like this and I was, and I'm liking it y'all. I, I liked it like like it did justice for me. It worked pretty well, so I'm pretty sure this one's going to work pretty good. It got a uh, forward and a reverse. It got a plus and a minus sign right here so that's for your speed put your speed up lower your speed down usb um cord so you're going to need the little box to connect this to or unless you have you know your little you know an outlet that comes with the usb on it if you do then that's what's up because i do let me plug this on right here to my little outlet okay if you put it in the middle between the f and the r is to turn it off okay so let me put a um matter of fact i'm gonna use, i'm gonna use one of these drill bits right here so what you're gonna with, with this one is no twist off no you know you know to twist it off oh my god <laughs> to, to put a drill bit in here it's not no, you know, twisty, okay? You just got to insert it in, just like that, as far as you can go, okay? Don't force it. Force it all the way down. Just put, press it down as much as you can. If you feel as though it's not going anymore, then leave it alone, just like that, okay? Don't You don't want to force it all the way down, okay? Put it on. Look at this, y'all. You don't even hardly hear this. All right, y'all. I'm just jumping in to do the voiceover real quick because I was saying it was low on noise, y'all. Which it is. Low on noise. Um, If you have it on the low speed, you you barely hear any noise to this handpiece. But once you start cranking it up, yes, the, 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 the sound starts getting louder and louder. But not that much, y'all. Because I have I had heard handpieces like much louder than this one, y'all. But it does vibrate. You do feel the vibration on the handpiece. But the, the noise level is right there. It's average. Let me turn it off. We're going to use this later. And it's not a rechargeable nail drill, y'all. You do have to um, keep it on for it to work. You have to keep it plugged in for it to work, okay? Okay, the smell, just like monomer. The smell is definitely there, y'all. It smells just like monomer. I don't know, to be honest, y'all, I am so used to this monomer smell that it does not smell strong to me at all anymore. So, I just want to say that the, uh, the monomer smell, it is definitely there, y'all. It smells just like monomer. Like any ordinary monomer smell, yes, this one smells just like it. 
uh, especially if it's going to be your first time using monomer if that smell definitely is there okay it's going to smell just like a nail salon type monomer thing too <laughs> you know it's going to smell just like that okay it's not odorless i always like to wet my swastik so it could give it like that nice little sticky layer If you're not used to working with a little brush like this, you definitely want to, you know, get another brush. But. It's getting stuck to the brush, y'all. Yeah, quickly. Mm. All right, y'all. First thing first, this brush is not that great to do a full application. Um, later on, I will switch up on the brush, so stay tuned for that. Um, it was this white was getting stuck to the brush constantly, um, but overall, I mean, I have tried the worst acrylic than this, so you know. I was a little surprised with this acrylic little system for the price of it y'all you can't beat this at all um and when i applied this white acrylic at first it was looking like kind of grainy or cakey looking so if that happens just dip your brush back into the monomer apply back to the acrylic and you'll start seeing you know that glossy creamy look to it you know my only pro issue that i had that you know the acrylic was getting stuck to the brush but nonetheless still a great beginner acrylic system y'all for beginners Okay, a jelly pink, you know, a natural pink, you know, it's your ordinary natural pink acrylic. Y'all. Yeah. y'all i'm surprised with this acrylic pretty good like this is good for y'all if you want to do your nails you never tried the acrylic before you want to try acrylic for the first time just to you know to see how it works just to practice and stuff like that y'all there you go there you have it right here y'all and you get a nail drill with it all you got to do is make sure you get you know a nice little good brush on the side and some nail tips and you'll be good i'm done to try this nude Whoa. It's a pretty big bead for a little brush. Oh yeah, y'all. Okay. Okay.
I'm surprised. Hell yeah. For 20 bucks, y'all, you cannot beat this. And it comes with the nail drill, like. You cannot beat this at all. I know I would have picked this up. Hell yeah. I know I would. I was a beginner. Like, never tried the acrylic before, and I want to try it for the first time just to get the feel for it. I would definitely would get this one. And then I will get a box of note. Like I said, I will get a box of note tips on the side, a different brush on the side, and all that good stuff. Yep. And anything else that you need to do nails. But you cannot beat this at all. Especially if you're doing it on yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Definitely, definitely worth the 20 bucks, y'all. Definitely worth the 20 bucks. For a beginner and to teach myself how to use acrylic and all that good stuff, I would definitely pick up this a little, um, this acrylic system, y'all. I'm going to use those, this mandrel bit and this sanding band so I can um, file the nail tips to the nail bed fits nice and snug I'm gonna crank it up If you're going to be using this nail drill on yourself, make sure you start, you know, you lay, you turn it into the lowest speed and then work your way up. Okay. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't show you the RPMs, right? But just start at the lowest, right? See how it feels on your nail bed. And if you feel as though, you know, it needs to be up a little bit more, then, you know, you crank it up a little bit more and crank it up a little bit more until, you know, you know that it's the right speed, you know, for you and for your natural nails. Never go on a high speed on your natural nails, y'all. Never, ever, ever. A little disclaimer, I am not a nail tech. I'm not a nail professional. I am self-taught. I learned, you know, myself. I learned from watching others. And I know not to use a nail drill on my natural nail beds on a high speed. You want to, um, like, try it on your wrist. If you feel as though, like, if it's, like, like, a, like if it's scratching too much or if it's burning too much on your wrist right here, then it's a little too high. It should feel like nothing on your wrist. Like, if you're going like this, it should feel like nothing. And you don't want to put any pressure, okay? If, when you're working on your natural nail bed, you do not want to like, like, like put pressure like that. You understand? Like, you know, yeah, you don't want to put pressure. No, you're supposed to go like that, smooth, like light feathers, light feathers like that. See, just take the shine away. Light, light feather motions. That's it. That's it. 
Do not put no pressure like this. Like, no. Please do not do that. I'm just doing it on here because, you know, this is a fake hand and I can do that. I'm not damaging nobody's nail bed or nothing, you know? This is what practice hands are for. Yeah, remember I said the white? I don't know how I felt about the white. Yeah, like, feels like a little powdery to me. But when you add monomer to it, it starts smoothing out. You see how it starts polymerizing and starts looking all nice and creamy. This white one's definitely getting stuck to the brush. It ain't nothing a little monomer can fix. All right, y'all, as y'all can see that I started to use the white because I want to do a little set with this acrylic just so I could get the feel for this acrylic a little bit more. And to be honest, y'all, you know, um, this acrylic kit is good for beginners. It's good for if you want to start, you know, doing acrylic for the first time. Um, if you want to just practice on, um, um, to, you know, applying acrylic in your powder to liquid ratio and, you know, you want to practice fouling and, you know, stuff like that, then, you know, this acrylic is good for you. It's very beginner friendly. I'm not even going to front. It's a slow setting. It is beginner friendly. You have enough time to, you know, mold the acrylic and to work with it and all that good stuff. The only cons about it was, you know, that, you know, the acrylic was getting stuck to the brush, you know. But the I just kept dipping my brush back into the monomer and kept cleaning my brush constantly. That's it. But if it was something like you just want to, you know, to do your nails at home for you the first time and you want to try acrylic for the first time, y'all, like this acrylic is not bad. This acrylic kit is not bad at all. And for the price point for less than twenty five dollars, y'all, like you cannot beat it. You cannot beat this up because you get everything in this kit that you need to do nails at home. OK, and especially if you're, you know. You do not want to spend that much money on a kit if you really don't know what you're doing. So there you go. You right here. You got it. Less than $25. You can practice with this thing and, you know, push come to shove. You don't like it. And oh, well, at least you didn't spend that much money for it. You get what I'm trying to say? Like this acrylic, like um, 
it was I, I'm gonna say kind of like oh nice to work with because it wasn't runny it wasn't none of that you see you can see for yourself like this acrylic was not runny at all it was pretty nice to work with like I said the only thing that it was getting stuck to the brush you know so that was if that's something that you're not gonna like or you really don't care for like if it's okay you don't mind cleaning at your brush constantly whatever whatever and you just want to do it just to practice and just to try acrylic for the first time or you know stuff like that then hey listen you cannot go wrong with this kit at all like i said you get everything in this kit to do your freaking nails y'all like you get everything in here like you even get a nail drill y'all like even if you never even tried the nail drill before you can try for the first time with this kit the only thing i would advise is for you to buy a brush on the side for you know so you can complete you know a better application because the other brushes is good more for like 3d um you know art and stuff like that um and and if you prefer nail tips i will you know prefer to buy a box of tips on the side also if you do not know how to use the nail forms that come in this kit but other than that y'all this acrylic was not bad at all to work with at all like i had other acrylics where it was more runnier than this it was worse to, <laughs> like it was like really bad to work with like other acrylics that i have tried like was like bad to work with and this acrylic was not bad to work with at all like i said the only thing that it was just getting stuck to the brush and the yeah that's the only thing y'all that was the only thing other than that like listen if i'm like like in me in my beginner mode and and i wanted to try out something and i did not want to waste all my money and i ain't got that much money to be buying no hundred dollar kit fifty dollar kit and then for you know wasting all that money for something that i'm not even sure about that i know i'm gonna get the hang of it or not listen I, i'm buying this one I'm getting this one right here for 27 bucks. Oh yeah, I'm getting this one right here. I'm gonna try my best with this kit. And then if I and then if once I get get it down to my liking to whatever, hey, and then I level up to another kit and another kit. And then you work your way from there, you know, then you try that acrylic brand. Then you could try this acrylic brand and work your way up like that, you know. But you gotta um practice your application, your powder to liquid ratio, and then like that and try other brands so like that you could get the feel for different acrylics shop because every acrylic is different you know okay so like that um i would advise to try different acrylics also you, you get what i'm trying to say because all every acrylic is different every acrylic is different you know so listen the link is going to be the link to this um acrylic kit is going to be in the description box below so you know it's going to take you right to amazon less than 25 bucks like i said you can't beat it y'all i i would get it if it was me no problem at all like i said you know the the getting stuck to my the brush i don't care that's that wasn't a problem to me but anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope y'all um you know can leave leave me a comment down below let me know what your thoughts let me know what you think let me know um uh, if you got any questions that you want to uh, ask me about this acrylic kit that, that i did not mention just leave me a comment down below and if i can answer to my best of my ability i will answer you back right away because i like to answer all of y'all comments okay <laughs> all right y'all so um i'm gonna leave y'all here um look at I, I created a little ombre set a little frenchie set you know with this acrylic kit y'all look at that oh and the only thing y'all that the clear i'm um, gonna be completely honest the clear you see how the clear the clear was good to work like it's not it wasn't runny it wasn't none of that but it was making my brush flare up my brush was like flaring up y'all like it was like <laughs> it, oh, that shit was really really getting stuck to my brush and, and it was making the brush flare up but it wasn't runny or anything like that this acrylic was not runny at all it was like nice to freaking mold and all that shit you, you understand like i don't understand that like why i was getting stuck to my freaking brush and why i was making my brush do all that you know but yeah y'all listen yeah i will work this with acrylic like i said you know for being your first time like listen you cannot beat that at all just make sure you know 
you work with different acrylics also so like that you could get the feel for different acrylics you know to you know just don't stay stuck with one brand you get what i'm trying to say but yeah y'all so this is it for y'all for right now i have another nail set that i did coming up soon i really like the way that one came out so i can't wait to show y'all and yeah y'all so let me know i want to know your thoughts about this um nail set leave me a comment down below and i got y'all okay so um don't forget y'all stay blessed be safe out there and please come back again love y'all bye and don't forget to subscribe stay to the end so y'all can see how the nails came out <laughs>
from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box below so you could buy your own little acrylic set. It's for beginners, very, very beginner friendly. If you never ever tried acrylic before and if you want to for the first time and you never tried to eat out before and you want to for the first time, where did you go? You have it all in one little kit just for you okay don't forget um it also came with some dual forms so if you want to scope your own nails you can do that or you can buy a box of tips on the side and do your own nails with some tips here are the colors right here these are what the colors are looking like Like you get a clear or white, a natural pink, and a nude. You can never go wrong with none of these colors to create a nice little look like this. Baby boomer, natural American manicure. You can do so with these colors, y'all. Okay, so if you want, check out the link in the description box below. It's going to take you straight to Amazon. So it's even it's good. It's beginner friendly, y'all. It's good for you. That want to get started on doing nails and you don't, you don't and you don't want to spend so much money you just got a little couple dollars you're on a budget and you just want to you know just to get the feel for for your acrylic you understand just to get the feel for it well there you go you got it all right here all in one box i will advise you though to buy an acrylic brush you know a side of it i mean you can always try it out first see if, if it works for you it might work for you and if it does even better even great you ain't got to go buy another brush but if you feel as though it's not working then that means you know go ahead and get another brush so like that you could you you know the application can work better for you on applying these acrylics okay not so bad i mean for the price you get what you pay for not bad at all like i said very 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 beginner friendly Yep. so thank you so much for watching y'all thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate you so much for doing so thank you for so thank you so much for liking my videos commenting and all that good stuff i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and please y'all don't forget stay blessed be safe out there and please come back again love y'all bye and don't forget to subscribe look at this you can do this on yourself <laughs>